Well, I watched the Ubisoft, Ubisoft, however you want to say it, forward that happened this year, 2024. And these are my highlights from it. I'm Mockland, and if you enjoy my content, please hit the subscribe button. Like button also, share with friends who don't mind. Also, please comment, ask me a question, or comment in general. I'll do my best to answer them. Also, if you don't mind, hit the notification bell down below, and you will be notified when I go live or upload another video. If you want to become a fan of me, Auckland, subscribe to the channel, and you will become a fan. I hope so. Alright. Um, I mean, the show could have been better, of course, yeah. But overall, I think I found some enjoyment out of it. Now, the first game I'm going to be talking about here is getting con kind of controversial because of the the female character to, the female character that you play as in this game. She is modeled by a real life woman and in the game they changed her face and a lot of people are hating on it. Yeah, that sucks. Then that game is Star Wars Outlaw. Star Wars Outlaws, if I can talk right. Now, that part does suck, yeah. But, um, but from the gameplay, it looks fantastic. Alright. So it all depends on if you want to play this or not. But, I play games because they're fun. And I find enjoyment out of games. Now, this, I can't remember what her name is that you're playing as in this Star Wars game. But she's pretty much like Han Solo-like. She's a scoundrel. She's a smuggler. She has this uh, creature with her, a companion. I think its name is, its name is Nyx. Some kind of creature. Uh, but yeah, and it helps her out to uh, basically get through the levels. And this is the first ever open world Star Wars game. And in my opinion, not every game needs to go open world. But I think with this one, I think it's going to work out pretty good. But yeah, I'm looking forward to Star Wars Outlaws. Um, they, showed out, they showed out some brand new gameplay for it, and it looked great. August 30th for that game. Alright, next. Uh, <clears throat> Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown. Um... And I don't know why I didn't do it for because I got my games here. Yeah, I don't have Jedi Survivor yet, but that's my Star Wars game. Uh, I was going to hold up, but I didn't do it. I'll try to do better for the rest of the video. Alright, for Prince of Persia, which I don't have the Lost Crown, but that's that one that I have. Um, And I am planning to get in the Lost Crown as soon as I can. But Prince of Persia, the Lost Crown is getting free DLC. So it's going to be able to add boss rush mode so you can play all the, fight all the bosses and stuff one after another. Uh, you're going to be adding puzzle challenges and also more outfits. Plus on top of that, because all that stuff is free, but there's an expansion coming out this September called the Mask of Darkness. And you got to pay for that one. So that's pretty neat how they're giving you free DLC for right now. But then going to be adding more to the game later on this fall. So that's pretty neat that this Prince of Persia game is doing so well that they're going to continue to expand upon it, which is great. And continuing with Prince of Persia. Now, this game got teased a long time ago, like four years ago, I think. The Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time Remake. We got a cinematic trailer for this along, during that time period. People hated on this game. They did not like how it looked. So, of course, they have began to change the game. And remake it again. Because this is a remake. So, they're going to remake the remake. So, now we got a release date of 2026. For Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. So it's going to be a little while before we get to play this game. And hopefully the fans will love how this one looks once we get some more footage of it. Maybe some actual gameplay as well. Because all we got was a candle. 
And then if you know the game, then the candle got lit. It wasn't lit, then it was lit. Because you can reverse time in the game. That's one of the special mechanics. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Long time from now. Alright, next. I don't have this game just yet, but I'm planning to at some point in time. Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. Now, I'm a fan of the Avatar movies. I'm not talking about the last Airbender Avatar. Or the Avatar The Last Airbender, Airbender TV show, Netflix, all that stuff. No. This is Avatar The Blue People Avatar. It came out with a game called Avatar uh, Frontiers of Pandora. It's now receiving DLC called Skybreaker. So, that's coming out in July. Most likely, you're going to have to pay for it. And the game has been doing very well. So, that's very cool. Because I came out with an Avatar game back on the PS3, Xbox 360 era. And that Avatar game didn't do well. I think it got based upon the first Avatar movie that came out in 2009. And this one is a brand new story that they created. And they actually worked with uh, James Cameron and all that stuff to actually make this game. Which is so cool that they did that. So yeah, that's very cool. And the last game, which I haven't even played the latest one yet. Uh, this is Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, yeah, I don't even have Mirage yet. I haven't got, I haven't been playing Assassin's Creed for a long time. I kind of fell out of it. But this new one, Assassin's Creed Shadows, is getting controversial as well. Because there's a samurai character in the game who, historically, wasn't really classified as a samurai. Not really. That, from what I can find out. But anywho, besides all that point... The game looks incredible, in my opinion, so I um, might end up checking this one out, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. I said that about Assassin's Creed Mirage, and I still haven't played it, still haven't even gotten it yet. But Shadows is dealing with samurais in the Japan area, and it does, excuse me, it does look pretty good. Because of hiccups. But yeah, so we got some new Gameplay on this. You got to see uh, the two characters you get to play as in the game. And it looks good. Really looks good. And the game is releasing this November. Please let me know down in the comments. Uh, will you be picking up any of these games? Downloading them? Are you excited about any of them? I really would love to know. And did y'all watch the Ubisoft Forward that happened today? And what did y'all think about it? Because there were some more games that got showed off. But I wasn't really interested in any of those ones. Just these ones. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much. Alright.